Let's move on. Doc. Well, this is something parents not... really need to pay attention to. Do you know that one out of every 10 kids is seriously addicted to video games and media and TV? Mm -hmm. And that's really significant because it actually has, it's, not, it's more than just their grades that suffer, their health can suffer. Kids that watch more than four hours of TV are at much, much higher risk for having heart problems when, when they're older. Well, I so 80% more likely yeah. to die from heart disease if yeah. you watch four hours or more of TV a day. Right. So you're not you know, and That's so, a huge risk. So, uh, you know, I know I've done this with my kids sometimes, you know, just say, hey, we're going to take a day and just we're going to be unplugged. We're going to not, not watch TV and not watch, not play video games, no cell phones. And, you know, when, when I say that, they're like, what? What do you mean? I don't want to be unplugged for well, you know, a, a whole day. You miss out on life when oh, you're yeah. so plugged yeah. into all these gadgets. Yeah. Um, there's actually a family that kind of took this to the extreme and went unplugged for an entire six months. Wow. Did wow, <laughs> you guys do that? That's hard. They actually wrote a book about it. It's called The Winter of Our Disconnect. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like that. And we actually have the mom on the phone. Her name's Dr. Susan Mousehart. She's a PhD in communications. And uh, are you there, Susan? Yes, hi, you guys. Hi right. there, welcome. Hi. So, love it, love it. Welcome. You know, I've done this with my family for a day or a weekend even, but. You know, what made you do this for an entire six months? Uh, it was probably menopause. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> well, I think you know, it's a great idea. To be perfectly idea. frank, yeah, the hormones definitely played a part. I was just, you know, a little bit crazy, as you get. But, you know, uh, I had been worried about my family for some time, worried about my kids, the amount of time, the sheer amount of time they were spending interacting with some screen or other and normally with you know several at once my patterns were just as dysfunctional as theirs i was developing a quasi inappropriate relationship with my iphone <laughs> <laughs> so how did your kids react when you first said this was going to happen you know funnily enough they their reaction was kind of muted and i think that was probably because they all had their earbuds in at the time <laughs> yeah. Well, did you find when you disconnected, did you all sort of reconnect? Oh, totally. This is, the, this is the message. This is the takeaway that we did. I mean, ironically, we were all spending all this time, quote, unquote, communicating, and yet we were so cut off from one another. I'd come home from work and say, you know, hello to everybody, and I'd get grunts in the backs of people's heads. And, and so I'd retreat to my technology, and then they'd try to talk to me, and I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I have to, you know, look at this email. And, you know, I think that's become almost the norm for many families, mm -hmm. and it's quite sad. No, I think well, it's absolutely mm -hmm. right. Susan, thank you so much for joining us and absolutely. sharing your story with us. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks a lot. You know, I hope parents out there can take a message from this. And, you know, you don't have to go six months, mm -hmm. but maybe just a night, a Friday night or a Saturday night. Just have an unplugged night. Sit down and play Scrabble. You'll find that the less kids use uh, their electronics, their grades go Love. up.